Actress Heather Locklear is a 90s Hollywood icon if I do say so myself. If you're wondering what she's been up to lately, she's come a long way from her days married to Tommy Lee. Heather once spent most of her time living in the fast-paced Hollywood, but today she dwells in her quiet retreat located in Thousand Oaks, California. Here, Heather lives with her fiancé Chris and her daughter Ava. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Best known for her scene-stealing role as Amanda Woodward on the television series Melrose Place, Heather Locklear would go on to become one of Hollywood's most recognizable faces of the 90s. Banking four Golden Globe nominations and a net worth in the estimated range of around $6 million, Heather would continue her career well into the new millennium, but eventually, her roles would begin to dwindle. She found herself getting involved in one controversy after the next, and people seriously began to wonder about her well-being. Of course, if we're being honest with ourselves, Heather has always had something of a rebellious streak in her. I mean, how else do you explain being married to Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee while they were both in their 20s? These two got married in the late 80s and by 1990 they were building their dream house, a four acre mansion in Thousand Oaks, California. But when their marriage went up in flames a couple years later, Tommy would wind up dating this home to Heather in the divorce and she's lived there ever since. And while it hasn't always been the best of times for Heather over recent years, at least now she's finally starting to come out the other side. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This time checking out the homes of Heather Locklear. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Heather once spent her life living in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, but today she spends it in the quiet retreat of her home located in Thousand Oaks, California. Here, Heather lives with her fiancé Chris and her daughter Ava. Heather has lived in this home since 1990. That's when she and her first husband, Tommy Lee, had the 8,000 square foot residence custom built. Containing six bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms, Tommy and Heather would spend the next three years of their lives here together before divorcing in 1993. At that point, Tommy Tommy moved out and Heather stayed on. And honestly, after taking one look at this place, it's pretty clear why Heather decided to stick around rather than say sell the place. Beyond the four acres of property that the house sits on and its gorgeous views of Ventura County, Heather's mansion also offers a ton of privacy with its location at the top of cul-de-sac in an extremely pricey neighborhood. Sticking with the outside, before we head on in, Heather's backyard is about as inviting a space as you can imagine. In fact, as soon as you step outdoors, you're greeted by a sensational entertaining space, endless stretches of beautiful green grass, tons of palm trees, and other lush landscaping details. All of which make it the perfect spot for an impromptu photo shoot no matter what the occasion, like say your daughter's recent graduation from college. Oh, and beyond that peaceful serenity, there's also also a pool and spa jacuzzi combo. Moving on to the inside, the home boasts a chef style kitchen with dark brown marble countertops, matching wood cabinets, a massive center island, and plenty of space to enjoy those family dinners with Ava and Chris. There's also a grand living room with vaulted ceilings, gigantic windows that help make the space feel bigger than it already is, and an epic fireplace. Not too far from there is a second grand room and entertaining space that Heather has decorated with a bright purple couch and a matching purple carpet. Honestly, it feels a little like Willy Wonka decorated this particular room. But hey, at least it's still comfortable enough for Ava and her boyfriend to get some much needed rest with Heather's cute pet dog, Mister. And while that's about as much of an inside peek as Heather has afforded us of her home over the years, that's far from the end of our story. Heather Locklear has always been something of a problem child, but I don't think any of us expected her to still be acting that way well into her 50s. In and around 2008, Heather began to struggle mightily with her mental health while battling depression. The end result would be a month spent in a wellness facility and multiple arrests that culminated in Heather being pulled over for reckless driving. Four years later and she still wasn't out of the woods yet. In 2012, her sister called the cops to the home after she believed Heather had begun mixing her prescription meds with a lot of alcohol. Thankfully, the authorities showed up just in time. For a while after that, it seemed like Heather was getting things back on track. Then 2018 happened. 
happened. It was not a good year. First, Heather was arrested in her home in February on suspicion of felony domestic violence against her boyfriend, Chris, which was then turned into a further three counts of battering a police officer. A source in the Ventura Police Department would tell DailyMail.com that Heather was completely wasted at the time of the altercation and that she had flown into such a rage that she nearly bit the tip off of Chris's nose. Heather was booked on a domestic violence charge just after one this morning. Her brother called police. Domestic disturbance. The sister and her boyfriend are She was screaming at the police and went on the attack. When the cops finally showed up on the premises, Heather became even angrier and punched one of the female deputies while calling her a word that there's just no way I'm gonna repeat on here. According to that same source, Heather then proceeded to kick one of the male cops while punching a third in the face. During her arrest, Heather also made the extremely poor decision to threaten the authorities by saying she would shoot them if they ever showed up at her house again. Listen guys, don't ever do that. It's not gonna end well. Soon enough, the authorities were back with a warrant to search Heather's home for the weapon and designating her residence a hazard. And while an investigation into Heather would reveal that she had in fact purchased and registered a firearm when the police showed up to look for it, they couldn't find it. That would become important later on because only a few short months later, Heather would once again fly into a violent rage and threaten to shoot herself. This time it was her mom who called 911 and Heather was once more hospitalized for her own good, but not before earning herself another count of felony domestic battery and four counts of misdemeanor battery on an EMT. I guess you could say that for the past 10 or so years, Heather has definitely spent a lot more time in front of the mugshot cameras than the TV ones. Thankfully, that's about to all change. In 2020, Heather celebrated a truly massive and amazing milestone, one year of total sobriety. In fact, these days, Heather is once more in a great place and has put the majority of her troubles behind her. She even went so far as to get engaged to Chris in April of 2020. She told people about her relationship. I'm like, you're my man for the rest of my life, whether we get married or not. A wedding is not so important. We're together and we love each other and support each other. And really, that's all that matters. She and Chris have not only been on and off again throughout Heather's tumultuous stretch, they actually used to date in high school too. So it's been a long journey for both of them to get here. These days, Heather spends most of her days living in the moment which is most definitely a far cry from what she used to do. She's also returning to acting for the first time in five years with a lead role in the Lifetime Project, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, The Christine Carlson Story. This is Mr. Renwick. He's helping me with the website redesign. Is the world ready for Heather Locklear's big comeback? For that matter, is Heather? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But one thing's for sure, Heather deserves a ton of credit for getting herself and her home life in a far better place than it has been in a long time. Bettering yourself is always one of the hardest things that you can do, and Heather, well, she's now become a specialist at it. That brings this house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought about Heather's home down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.